everyone, today we're going to look at three M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs that I think are very appealing for the cost. First we have the HP EX920, Crucial P1, and the Intel 660P. Let's see how these guys perform. So let's talk about how I chose these three drives for this comparison. First, they are made by well-known manufacturers that have proven their reliability and performance in the memory market. They are all also at a price point now that is very attractive to the average consumer, where as before, regular two and a half inch SATA drives were the obvious choice. As you can see here, these drives have been on a significant downward trend on their pricing. Now this video is not meant to be an in-depth review of all three of these drives, but rather a quick overview of the specs, quick benchmarks, and help you to make a more informed decision about each one of these drives. First up, we have the most expensive one, the HP EX920. Now this is going to be the fastest performing drive, uses TLC NAND memory, and the HP 8038 controller, which is just a rebranded 22. 62. This would be my choice if you wanted to get as close to say Evo 970 performance or Pro 970 performance by Samsung but just did not want to spend the money. Next up we have the Crucial P1. Still a very respectable advertised read write speeds. Now this uses the newer QLC type of flash memory. Includes a 5 year warranty and uses the SM2263 controller. Last up is the Intel 660P, which is the first drive to use QLC memory. This Intel drive and the Crucial P1 are actually extremely similar, both using the same controller. However, the Intel does not have as much DRAM at only 256 megabytes versus the Intel's one gigabyte. Next up, I ran the ATTO benchmark tool to give you an idea of how these drives are going to perform. Now I would recommend all three of these drives based on everything I've said. Now it is worth doing a little bit more research on the architecture of these different types of drives, especially the newer QLC memory that's showing up in a lot of the budget drives and understanding the pitfalls of this memory type. Many of these drives will suffer somewhat in performance if you are a what I would call a heavy user and abuser of SSDs so you're writing and reading lots of data in these scenarios you can overwhelm the cache and you can start to see degradation in performance now I'm not going to go into detail on this as this is truly going to affect a minimum amount of users However, I'm going to link one or two articles, documentation in the description just so you can do your own research and make sure you're purchasing the right drive for your use case. Now, the two cheaper drives are extremely similar and I would probably be happy with either one of these. However, occasionally the HP EX920 will show up on sale for $20 or $30 off, which puts it only around $30 more expensive than the other two drives. In this case, I would go ahead and jump up to the more expensive HP. All right guys, if you like this video, you guys know what to do. If you have not subscribed, consider doing that as well. Thanks, see you next time.